Ooh, this is a good one. All right. From Julian Sick, Jules. All right, bruh. What's your favorite DBZ character? <laughs> All right, that's a good question. Favorite question of the day. Let's see. Favorite DBZ character is definitely either fucking Trunks or Goku. Dude, I think Goku's a fucking badass because, like, he's like the Superman of the world. You know what I mean? He's the number one character in the whole fucking series, the most powerful. He's a fucking sick cunt. He's a badass dude. He's laid back as fuck. Uh, he's pretty cool. I mean, I like Goku. And then Trunks. Trunks is a fucking badass dude. Trunks fucking does work. I remember the first time when Trunks came up and he fucking, like, slew Freeze at one hit and you fucked up people. Welcome once again to another episode of The Worst of the Fitness Industry, starring Jeff Seed. Now, Jeff Seed wasn't the most requested person to do this video on, but it gives me a really good opportunity to talk about something that often goes overlooked in the male fitness industry. Like normal uh, caloric intake, my normal BMR, basal metabolic rate, is actually like 3600. And what I do when I cut for like a photo shoot or competition, I actually drop it down to like 1800. Um, and also doing high intensity or overtraining or any sort of cardio, that's the best way to cut. Yes, that's right. Jeff Seed is as bad, if not worse, than the women I've talked about who promote insane amounts of calorie restriction on top of high intensity training. There has been a shift recently in the fitness industry where people are focusing on aesthetics and good looks rather than strength and performance. And it's likely due to a lot of younger guys getting into fitness so that they can look good for girls. And unfortunately, guys like Jeff have become role models for them. Now, here's a good question. How the fuck do you eat 1800 calories a day on top of doing weight training and high intensity interval training on an almost daily basis without losing your fucking mind, fucking up your hormone balance, and just becoming impotent? Drugs. Now, Jeff is an IFBB fitness competitor, and at that level, you can absolutely guarantee he's on steroids, and that's how he's able to go on these insane diets while generally keeping his shit together, and that's not the only trick in his bag. He also does party drugs like cocaine so that he can give himself more energy and stave off hunger. And I seriously doubt he was joking in that Twitter conversation. Uh, party drugs like cocaine are a big part of this whole aesthetics industry, and Jeff is not the first person to do this. Uh, anyone ever heard of Ziz? What helped me lose weight, as well as change my diet, is Herbalife Lift Off. If you drink this, you will not feel hungry. You would have all the energy you need, and you can stay up. Now, there is no fucking difference between these two. Jeff is taking drugs so that he can starve himself just like these girls with fucking eating disorders are doing. And it's not just Jeff. Literally every single fucking bodybuilder and fitness model has to do this to some extent to get in that kind of shape. But despite all that, Jeff is still fucking promoting this diet and lifestyle to younger guys who look up to him. Bitch. And where does Jeff get all this money to pay for his steroids and cocaine? Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not prejudiced. If you want to give gay men sexual favors in exchange for money, that's your choice and you have every right to do that. But for all of the younger men watching who admire people like Jeff, is that the kind of lifestyle that you want? Does it really sound appealing to any of you to have to do gay for pay so that you can afford drugs to starve yourself for a photo shoot? That's the reality of the fucking fitness and aesthetics industry. Uh, a lot of big name bodybuilders and fitness models have done it. Kai Green has done it. As you just saw there, Matt Ogus used to do it. That's just the reality of things. It comes with the fucking territory. And guys like Jeff, they're not promoting health or fitness. But now that we have that out of the way, we can finally get to the fun part! Nutrition! And what does a guy who does gay for pay in exchange for cocaine and steroids know about nutrition? ABSOLUTELY NOTHING! Alright guys, so we're gonna be talking about the foods that go into the shredded pyramid. Now, my favorite number one food is meat. Definitely meat is very essential. Beef, chicken, protein is essential in building muscle. So we got our beef down there, some tuna, chicken, very important. Chicken super lean. Well, this is off to a great start. Not only is meat correlated with weight gain, obesity, and diabetes, 
but chicken in particular is the very worst, and it's probably because of an obesity-causing chicken virus that has spread to humans. But I guess Jeff doesn't really need to worry about all that because he can just take drugs and starve himself to compensate. Now, animal protein is as insulinogenic as pure sugar, and the fat content in meat also aids in increased insulin production and fat storage, but Jeff probably doesn't know that because... And another reason why sweet potatoes are better than just regular potatoes is due to the fact that sweet potatoes are a superfood. Potato! So next up, we have apples. We got, you know, broccoli, cauliflower, beans. Got some onions in there. Onions are super good. Boys, next up, we got our fruits. First up, blueberries. And then lastly, we have some bananas. Now, a lot of you people have been telling me to go easier on these worst of the fitness industry people, and you know what, I'll give credit where credit's due. Jeff did mention a lot of really good healthy plant foods that help to reduce inflammation and aid in weight loss and improve insulin sensitivity, but where are you inserting those bananas, Jeff? And now things are about to get really stupid. So at the top of our period, we have our dairy products. I mean, dairy's packed in protein, but is natural for you. Dairy is meant for like another species. We're the only species that consumes another animal's milk, so it's not very good for you. All right guys, top of the pyramid, we have regular potatoes. Put that boy right up there, <laughs> away from all the good stuff. Now, I think we can all agree that Jeff's diet advice doesn't make much sense. So, despite Jeff himself claiming that milk shouldn't even be consumed by humans, he still put it lower on the food pyramid than white potatoes, which have potassium, fiber, iodine, and B vitamins. Is that cocaine on that shelf? So, that's all I really have to say about Jeff. Um, he's not really promoting health and fitness at all. Uh, he's just trying to make money for himself any way he can. But uh, before you all go to bed, uh, why not try out his bedtime shake? All you need is some egg whites, some protein powder, some blueberries, milk, and a naked man. Beef. What a relief. When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how. Ha, 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 ha.